Welcome to your channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I'm your host, Dr. Ghosh, and I'm back today with another very inspirational and transformational story for all of you. Friends, the video I've got for you today is all about an inspirational Indian woman, more specifically, an inspirational Indian woman from the northeast of India, from Assam, the late Shakuntala Chaudhary. She won the Padma Shri in 2022. She was from Kamrup, Assam. She was renowned for her commitment and devotion to the Gandhian way of life, a Gandhian social worker, an Indian independence movement freedom fighter. She was staunchly against the British Raj. She was also called as Shakuntala by Dio. I will be sharing much more details about this inspirational Indian Gandhian woman shortly on the video. But before that, I wanted to give you a brief about the channel Generous, Gracious and Gallant and about myself. I am Dr. Ghosh and I have started this channel two years back. My mission was to inspire the present and coming generations to live by the eternal human principles. These eternal human principles such as honesty, integrity, loyalty, respect for diversity, respect for our womanhood, respect for our parents are eternal. They do not change over time and place and living by these eternal principles is the only way forward for a conflict ridden mankind. Towards this mission, I started this YouTube channel which today has over 375 videos today on the channel. We have over 1072 subscribers and we have over 40,000 views. My heartfelt gratitude to all my subscribers. But for all those of you who have not yet subscribed, I request you please subscribe to the channel by pressing the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get a notification on every new video which I bring for you on this channel. I share with you every week stories of inspirational people living by the eternal human principles. Also I have a Facebook group and a WhatsApp group where I share daily inspiration. The link is given in the YouTube channel. Please join. I am told that orphanages in Bangalore and Chennai are now watching these videos, showing these videos to young children who are moldable and inspiring them to live by the eternal human principles. I feel blessed. Once again, before I start the video about this inspirational Indian Gandhian woman, I request you to subscribe to the channel. Shakuntala Chaudhary was born on 22nd June 1920. She did her education at Handik Girls College in Guwahati. While serving as a teacher at Guwahati TC school, she came across Amal Prava Das, a devoted Gandhian whose father had devoted his life to Gandhian principles and donated his Saraniya Hills property to set up an ashram. As requested by Amal Prava Das, Shakuntala Chaudhary joined the ashram. She ran the Gra Gram Sevika Vidyalaya and managed the Assam branch of Kastumba Gandhi National Trust. She became a secretary of the trust branch while simultaneously fulfilling her responsibility as a teacher at TC school. She succeeded Amal Pravadas as KGNMT's head in 1955. For 20 years she served as his secretary and she went to witness the Chinese aggression, the Tibetan refugee crisis and the language wars of the 1960s. During this period she organized Shanti Seva activities at the borders. Shanti Seva my friends was and name thought up, thought up by Gandhiji himself. Shanti means peace and Sena means army. He wa this is Gandhiji's army of members who are non-violent to promote communal harmony 
and undertake other activities vinoba das uh, vinoba bhave and jay prakash narayan were also members of this shanti seva activities vinoba bhave is not only known for his actions in the indian freedom struggle but also more so for the bhutan movement where he ensured free land for the poor agricultural labor shakuntala traveled with vinoba bhave when he went to assam for a one and a half year padyatra she translated his speeches from hindi to assamese she was also told by vinoba bhave to run the maitri ashram which he founded together they toured assam for one and a half years long padyatra for the bhutan movement she headed the bhutan movement in assam and organized multiple padyatras in assam as part of the national wide bhutan movement of providing land to landless laborers Vinoba Bhave also wanted to promote the Devanagari script among different linguist groups. Towards this, a monthly magazine was founded on his request, the Asomiya Vishwa Nagari. She published this for many years, and even today, this magazine is being published to highlight the Gandhian ideals, thoughts, and spirituality. she was an active participation in the nationwide cow slaughter satyagraha in 1978 which was started by vinoba bhave she died on february 28 2022 aged 101 years she got the jamnalal bajaj award in 2010 for development and welfare of women and children 2022 she got the third highest indian civilian award the padma shri for her social work when she died on february 28 22 prime minister narendra modi took to twitter and offered condolences he said shakuntala devi will be remembered for her lifelong efforts to promote gandhian values her noble work at saranya ashram impacted many lives saddened by her passing away my thoughts are with her followers family and countless admirers friends late shakuntala choudhary also fondly called as shakuntala badoi from assam a committed gandhian social worker who worked for the welfare of women and children a freedom fighter a staunch gandhian an inspirational indian woman who will be remembered for many many years for her contribution to the bhutan movement and the gandhian way of life friends i am sure you are inspired by these videos which i bring for you of people living by the eternal human values i will be back soon with another very transformational video this time again from the northeast about a, a home commander in chief who defeated the mogal armies and freed guwahati from the mogal empire a very transformational inspirational north indian commander in chief who has been forgotten by history i will be back soon till we meet again my friends good luck all the best stay safe